guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky. If you are new, welcome and thank you for tuning in. Today's video is a huge baby buys video. So I am pregnant with my second child. So I've already got a little boy who is five years old and I'm 27 weeks pregnant with my second little boy. Um, there are some things that I kept from Oscar and there are other things I didn't. So I would say that a lot of these items are big ticket items because most of the things that I bought are probably over a hundred pounds. Um, but I am doing this video because I watched a lot of other people's videos and I found them really, really useful in order for me to get the right things. So I just thought I would show you everything I've got, maybe give you some inspiration um, and let you know what I think is a luxury and what's a necessity. So. I actually kept um, my eye candy pram. Now, if I was just going by how I wanted it to look, I would get a new one, but we paid over a thousand pounds for it and it's actually in great condition. So it seems like such a waste of money going out and getting a new one. Um, saying that, the carry cot part of it is in the loft, is covered and wrapped, but we have said that obviously if that is not good we'll have to buy another one of those but luckily with eye candies i think you can just buy new carry cots and stick them on and um, so we kept our um pram system we also kept our car seat and car base um and we also kept a cot just a plain white cot in the loft not sure what else we we kept but i'm pretty sure everything i've bought i haven't doubled up apart from one thing which i'll get to later so I'm going to start with the change bag. So when I had my son, I had a Kath Kidston change bag, um, which I loved at the time. And there's nothing wrong with them. It's just not my thing anymore. Also, it was floral. And so when Simon was borrowing it, he was like, great, I've got to carry around this floral change bag. And also it was the old school change bag with the long strap that kind of went round you, um, which I just think is so hard to carry these days. So I went for this Tiba and Mar black rucksack, which I absolutely love. Um, so it's got gold zips and it's like a leather look. It's not real leather. Um, I've actually been on the website this morning because I've got this, actually Simon bought me this for Mother's Day. Um, I went on the website this morning just to see how much it was so I could let you know. And they've got some new designs. They've got like a croc print one, which is gorgeous. Um, and they've also got this in, in like all black, so these zips are not gold, although I completely love this. So what I love about this is the fact that it's a huge rucksack. So I carry around um, a rucksack anyway, a black one, so I kind of thought, well, it's not gonna look much different, it's comfortable, I can have all my hands, you know, useful for my children whilst I'm using this. Um, so it's got um, a front compartment on there, which is a zipped compartment, just to keep some bits. In here you've got your bottle holder with a thermal lining and also another pouch. Um, and in this part you've got, you've also got two more um, pockets for bottles I would say and then also a, a, another section at the back and it's just huge, it's massive. Um, inside there is this little case and i assume what you would put in here is you'd put um oh, it actually comes with a longer strap like a little bag look um so i assume you'd put like two nappies and a pack of wipes and maybe a little bit of cream and that could go if you were maybe not taking the bag with you and you just wanted to go you had maybe a smaller bag if you were going on a, a dinner or something like that i suppose you could put that in there um, and also it comes with its own change mat so just a, a plain black portable change mat, which are very useful when you are out and about. So Simon got that for my Mother's Day present and I did have to go and see how much it was just to help you guys out. So that was 140 pounds. I know it's not the cheapest, but it is beautiful. And I think my Kath Kidston one was something like 50 or 60 pounds. So it's not, okay, it's double the price, but we're talking five years on. It's very stylish. Um, if I have any more children, I think it's timeless because it's just black. So I'm hoping that I can get so much use out of this. And the other good thing, I'm not sure if they've still got this offer on, but when Simon bought it, we got this free rucksack. I think you've got to choose, but um, Oscar loves this and it's perfect size. Um, and, and obviously I love the print on that, so that's those. 
Now, the second change bag I got, believe it or not, I was actually gifted this gorgeous item from a company called Roker London. Go and check them out. So they're not specifically designed to be a change bag. They're just a multi-use rucksack. When they sent me a message, I did say to them that I have already got my change bag, but my husband hasn't got one. Now, I know I said that the black one was kind of like unisex and he could use it, but instead of him, because the thing is, when you use a change bag, you also use it as a handbag, don't you? So your purse goes in there, maybe a lipstick, um, a little bit of makeup, um, and also just anything, you know, uh, like lady stuff goes in there. Um, so I, I said to them, look, you know, I have got one, but my husband could do with one, um, if you could send me one of those. So it is so nice. So it is this roll top rucksack, which is beautiful. Um, so it's black and it's got a little stitch design of their logo on there, which is Roka. So it's got a front pocket with these, I don't know if they're real leather actually. They might be, you know, these leather, leather zip handles and there's a compartment on the top. Um, and then you undo the top of this and it's got this really nice zip on it. Um, and inside there's loads of different zip compartments. So loads of different pockets. So again, great for Simon. I think I'll just get him a um off of ebay or something a change mat like the one that came the other just to stick it in there and the other great thing about this is on the sides it's got bottle holders so he can put bottles in there um but i just thought that was such a nice design um obviously the straps can be lengthened but they're great i just thought for simon like they do it in so many different colours, so if you did want to get it for yourself and you wanted a pink or whatever, there's loads of different colours, loads of different designs, and it is really beautifully made. And um, so that retails at, I think they start at $54.95, I think I've got that right. Um, but go on to um, brokerlondon.com and have a look at their website. Um, obviously I will link everything that I've bought um, and been given in the description box below. Um, but yeah, I, I really love that and I'm chuffed that we've got separate changing bags so we don't have to faff with swapping over bags when Simon takes the baby out. The next thing I'm going to show you is the Tommy Tippy Perfect Prep Machine. I'm sure all of you know what it is, but oh my goodness, what a life changer. I planned to breastfeed for a little while, but I didn't get on with it very well last time. So I'm going to breastfeed just for a little bit and then I'm going to go on to bottle feeding. Um, now I've already used this because I just wanted to check it out and it's amazing. So I've got the day and night perfect prep machine. Um, now the model before this actually retails at about £80 whereas this one's £130. Um, although they've got the white one on offer, so this design on offer in Mothercare for £109 at the moment. Um, but I think the only difference with this is that it's got an LED display that glows. So it's kind of a bit of a, a luxury that you don't really need. You could go for the £80 and I'm sure it does exactly the same thing. Um, but I just like the colour of this one as well because it comes in grey. And as you know me, I am grey everything. So it's just a grey design which would go lovely in my kitchen. Um, and it makes your bottle, it says in under three minutes, but actually makes it in like a minute and a half. It's so good. So I'm thinking like night feeds. It's literally press of a button. It's so, 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 so good. I suppose what I could do is I could actually put the powder in the bottle and lay them up on the side before I, if I'm allowed to do this, I'll check with the midwife, before I go to bed. And then when I get up in the night, all I've got to do is literally stick it on the machine and press the button. I mean, how easy is that? Um, so as I say, I paid £130, well, £129.99, but they've got the white one on offer for £109, so go and get yourself one if you want to get one. But I feel like that is going to be so useful. The next thing I got was the sleepy head. So I'm not sure whether this is... Some people say that it's, like, really useful. Some people say it's not. Now, there are two reasons I bought this. One was because our son was terrible at sleeping on his own and we co-slept with him from the word go and so that is the first reason because i thought if this baby is the same you can co-sleep safely so it's not to eight months this now i went for the chevron design i really i did want the white because they do it in a plain white just because i think it will look really nice but then i thought milk all over it you know 
it white would just would just look dirty so quickly so i'm just going to take it out of the pack and show you it so this is the design i went for so it's got the gray chevron designs and it's got like this turquoise zip feels really really comfy so you can put it in the crib as well so they can sleep in that but what i also really liked about it is if we are downstairs and i need to just pop when he's really newborn and he's not rolling i need to pop him on the side or something or on the, the dining table i can literally lie it down and he can lie there um so whilst we're saying about that the other reason i bought it is because you can now buy a toy arch with toys that hang off of it um and i have didn't i definitely didn't keep oscar's play mat because i gave it to someone i remember so I'm thinking, I don't have to buy a play mat, which they're what, £30? Well, they start from £30. Um, now this was 140 quite expensive. I know you can get cheaper brands. Um, one of my friends said to me she got the mother care one and it's just the same, and I'm sure it is. Um, I think I just really loved the design and I really liked this and I really wanted it. Um, so I bought this. Now, with the toy arch, I thought I'd ordered it, but what actually came was the hanging toy set. So just be careful because I thought it would have come all as one. And I think it was like, I can't remember how much this was actually. I didn't write this one down. So anyway, but anyway, I thought I was gonna get the toy arch and the toys together, but you don't. So the toy arch, I think I looked this morning was like 12 99 Can you hear that? That's Oscar's um, alarm going off and it's like, 10 a.m. <laughs> so weird. Next thing I got were the baby's bottles. Now, with Oscar, he was really bad at um, taking bottles. We went through so many different brands. I don't know if it was me fussing, because first time mum and all that, but we went through so many brands, I, can't, I couldn't keep counting. It cost us a lot of money, because they're quite expensive to buy. And you tend to buy a couple, because you think, yeah, this is working, and then it doesn't work. So in the end, we went for the Dr. Brown's anti-collet bottle. Now, they're probably the least attractive bottle you can buy. Um, and probably the most annoying to clean because they've got this like valve in the middle. I'll just show you one of them. Um, but we bought this newborn starter set from John Lewis and it was $44.99. Um, so it comes with the microwave steriliser, which I used all the time with Oscar. And I did chuck it away because after using it for like two years, or however long you use it for, no, a year, it's a year, isn't it? It just was a bit gross, so I definitely got rid of that, I remember getting rid of that. And the same as bottles, I got rid of them, I don't know if you can reuse bottles, I suppose you could, but you could use different teats, but anyway, I know I got rid of all of that, so for I got the microwave steriliser, I got three bottles, four bottles, five bottles! <laughs> Um, so I got two of the smaller size and three of the larger size. I also got this handy cleaning tool and I also got some teats um, in there. So I need to look through, see what sizes I got. Hi! Little monkey. Bye! Mm. I'm just going to open one of the bottles to show you what it's like. So this is the bottle. Can you see the green anti-colic thing inside? I'll just take it apart. Oh, that's changed a little bit since Oscar. I never used to have this, like, bit that you hold on to. Maybe they've done that to make it a bit easier. I think it used to attach to the underside of the bottle. But anyway, it's got that anti-collet piece in it, which you don't have to have. You can take it out. Um, but you know what? We struggled so much with Oscar that I just thought, let's go for the same again. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely love those. And I really, really highly recommend those. But obviously, you don't know if you're going to have a colicky baby. Okay, so I've got two more items to show you. These really are quite big ticket items. So I've got to show you my bedside crib and then the thing I doubled up on was a car seat and I'm gonna show you why. The next thing I got was this Duna UK car seat. Now you're probably all thinking, why has she got another car seat? She's already got one. Now, I'm gonna say this is a luxury item and my husband was like, oh, well, you don't need to get that, but I could, honestly couldn't resist. So I first saw this product on Emily Norris's channel, who I absolutely love, um, and I just had to have one. So, not only is this a car seat, you probably already know anyway watching this, so I got this in black and grey, not only is it a car seat, watch this, so you take it out of the car. How amazing is that? I'm not sure if you can see that, but look, it's a little pram. 
So, I absolutely love that. So I'm thinking, when you go to the supermarket and you just need to get a couple of things, you don't want to take the car seat off, because my eye candy has got adapters where you can put the maxi cosy car seat on. Um, which is why my husband was like, oh, why are you buying another one? But the, the eye candy frame is really heavy. Um, so to get it out, to just get a loaf of bread and a pint of milk is a fan. Now, I'm not going to be using this as a buggy all the time because I know it's not good for the baby's back to leave a baby in a car seat for too long. But this is just for those moments where you are popping into a shop. And let's face it, we all have those really short moments. Or when I take Oscar to swimming lessons. Um, so I will be getting out of the car in a rush usually after school, taking him to the swimming pool, I'll probably wheel this in and then when I'm sitting down watching Oscar, I'll take the baby out and hold the baby. Um, and it's just so useful, little trips to the doctors where you take the car seat in anyway. Um, so I just think it's absolutely fantastic. Now, as I said, it is a luxury item. I did buy the base that goes with it because it's, I think it's three times safer when you have an Isofix base. So safety for me, like, I'm not even going to question it. Um, so I bought the Isofix base. These two items together should have been £460, there or thereabouts. Um, but I actually paid £380 uh, because I got £80 off when I went to the baby show, which I was so excited about because I was going to buy one anyway. So that was well worth going. If you're due to have a baby after October this year, the baby show is on again. I'm not sure if Duno are going to be there, um, but I'm pretty sure they should be because they probably sold loads when they were there. Um, I know that Isofix base is out of stock at the moment. Um, I'm not sure when they're going to get it back in. Uh, but I've got mine ready to go. I'm actually thinking about putting this in the car within a month. So I'm due in 13 weeks. So if I put it in about four weeks, it's in the car and ready. Just in case, you never know. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to use this. Um, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to fold down. I'm not sure you can see that from there. So you have to put the handle over here. Um, and then there's a little catch on the back. So I put my foot... On the wheel they say you're meant to put the brake on but the lady that showed me at the show said she just puts her foot in front of the wheel and then pushes them in i mean if i had shoes on that would be easier but how quick was that like it's amazing i'm just gonna put it down again and show you yeah love that obviously i'd be a bit more careful if my baby was in there i'm gonna be throwing it about um, look at that love that the next thing i bought i have saved the best till last is my bedside crib O-M-G, I love it, absolutely love it. So, I was looking, I looked at, everyone said the Chico next to me, nothing against the Chico next to me, apart from the fact that I didn't really like the design of it, I didn't like the way it looked, I thought it looked quite industrial, I didn't think it looked like, it just didn't look very nice. And now, a lot of people go for the snooze pod, which I really liked, but there's a reason why I didn't get that one over what I got, and I'll show you why in a minute. The other one was the Schnuggle. I really, really liked the design of that. So it was for me, it was between the Snooze Pod, the Schnuggle, I can't remember what the, the thing is, and this one, so I'm gonna show you. So I got the Tutti Bambini Next To Me crib. So it comes in this um, travel case. So this is the reason why I got this over the Snooze Pod. Um, so this, cot doubles up as a travel cot now we have family like not all over the place but my dad lives in the midlands and we often go and stay with him and having to take a huge travel cot is just a pain in the backside now i know they're only in this until they're like eight months nine months something like that but um yeah this i just love this so i'm going to show you how easy it is to put up so i know you can't see that but basically You've got your legs inside, and all you need to do is you fold them outwards and clip them into place. And there you go. No, and then you need to put this is a little bit like fiddly, but not really. I'll try and do it good for the camera. Um, but you just literally put your bottom under, which kind of stabilizes the whole thing. Voila! There you go. So, I'm just hoping you can see that from there. I'm just checking. I just love the design of this. It's got this wooden surround with the grey and mesh. And then down here, you've got a tray to put your nappies on. 
It also comes with the straps to strap it to the bed and I need to watch a video on how to do that. Um, because if you want to co-sleep, which as I've said was a problem with Oscar, you literally just pull down the side like that. How lovely is that? I just thought it was so good. Oh, let me see if my sleepy head fits in. Oh, fits in there perfectly, look. So if we did use the sleepy head for sleeping, that is perfect. I love how easy it is to put up and down. The fact you can use it as a travel cot. And I just loved the design. I mean, I do like the snooze pod, don't get me wrong. But actually, I thought that this just had a bit more of an edge to it. So that is it. That is the end of my big baby buys video. I hope you all enjoyed. I am going to do some separate videos on the various different items, a full reviews, maybe once they're in use. Um, if any of you have got any questions, please put the questions in the description box below. Um, and as I said, I hope you all enjoyed. If you were new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.